The Channel 15's Kathleen Quinn reports California doesn't have much on this Illinois community. some of those tunes for more than two decades, but it's still some of the best music ever to come out of Champaign-Urbana. Record Service put out this disc as a tribute to its own 20th birthday, but also as a tribute to some of the best music and the best bands ever to come out of Champaign-Urbana. We tried to sit down and come up with a list that we felt would represent the best material plus a variety of material, plus cover the 20-year time period as well. The One-Eyed Jacks, a headliner act in the late 60s, kicks off the disc. A folk singer from Peoria who would become one of the biggest selling artists signed from this area follows. Dan Fogelberg. Through the 70s, clubs sprang up throughout the community. Groups like Cole Kitchen, Screams, and the All-Star Frogs got the attention they wanted. And Champagne urbana became like the minor leagues for music. Lots of talent ready for the big break. People didn't have preconceived notions of what music was supposed to look like or to sound like. So it left guys with a lot of freedom to express themselves on stage. The talent base grew and the spotlight finally hit with REO Speedwagon and Champagne. Some people are made for each other. Some people can love one another for life. The group climbed the charts with How About Us in 1981. But instead of hitting the road when the records hit the charts, members stayed. I think that, that lends some credibility to the scene and maybe, I hope it, it opens the door, at least in terms of the record companies, to see that something can happen from here. So the Twin Cities had made their mark. The 1980s brought guitarist Adrian Ballou to town, the outrageous George Faber and others looking for a piece of the recording pie. Aaron Isaac, Combo Audio, and the Elvis Brothers all got record deals. By now, a few clubs began closing, and the music scene changed with fewer places to play. It's only in the last few years Champion urbana has picked up the beat again. For every 10 years, it seems like there's a, um, a surge of popularity in live and local music here. A lot of hope rests with The Last Gentleman. Crowds have been hanging on to the group's every beat. Other headliners include Nix 86, The Mud Hens, Otis and the Elevators, and Captain Rat and the Blind Rivets. This is the hunting grounds for the major leagues of music. The record industry knows it. People here have seen the success time and time again. And as far as central Illinois, I'd say this is still the best area, the, the, the most happening town, even though there are less places to play than there used to be. Kathleen Quinn, Channel 15 News, Champaign. Many performers on the disc have been in more than one band, so they appear on the disc a couple of times. Proceeds from the disc go to local charities once all the expenses have been paid. And by the way, Champaign is releasing its comeback album next month. Of course, we're all wondering when Keith Page is going to be releasing his CD, but... Uh, I, I released it two years ago. It sold four copies. That's it? Yep. Well, that was it. My family bought it. That's it. Well, I, I'll buy one from you. <laughs> so you got to get the, you know, the cost down. That's right. Got to keep it as low as possible.